Use the link in the video description to get to the setup guide for cross-compiling the Raptorium CPU miner on Windows using WSL and download the offline files linked here. Extract them into a folder and save them for later. If you have not installed Ubuntu 20.04 on top of WSL2, please do so using this link before continuing with this video. Also, make sure that you have enough computing resources to compile the miner. This varies by system. To run the PowerShell script, we must tell Windows that script execution is allowed. Do this by typing the following command. Please keep in mind that this is an inherent security risk and that it should be disabled after cross-compiling the CPU miner. Because the compilation tool doesn't have access to elevated privileges, dependencies for the compilation tool will need to be installed by the user. First, update the package list and the system by using the following command. Next, install all dependencies using the following. Go into the folder where you extracted the files from earlier. Right-click on this PowerShell script and click Run with PowerShell. A GUI, along with a PowerShell window, will show on your screen. Click on the red text shown here and choose the folder where you want your minor X files and resulting DLLs to reside. After the output directory has been set, confirmed by the green text showing part of your output path, you may click the Compile button. You will not be able to move the GUI window but the other PowerShell window will remain on screen, showing the exact steps it's doing. You may also see which step the program is on, indicated by the status label. Once the compilation is done, you will get a pop-up message stating this. You may access the CPU minor X files in the directory you choose earlier, assuming it was available when the compilation was finished. If you would like to compile the minor X files again, it is required that you follow these next steps. Otherwise, you are done and you may skip to the next section. First, start by opening Ubuntu 20.04 using Windows Search. Remove the source code directory using this command. Next, remove the build dependencies using this command. next command will remove any unused packages, which may include the dependencies of the packages that were shown before. Congratulations, you have successfully cross-compiled the CPU miner X files. Now on to setting up the pool of your choice to start mining. I will be using our pool in this video. If you want to use a different pool, make sure to follow the directions. Once you have chosen a pool to use, create a new bat file using the method shown on screen. Right click and choose edit. This will bring up a text editor window. Input the file name of your miner, along with the pool specific information that the pool site gives you. Replace the port and wallet address with your own and add the pause command in a new line so that you can see any errors if they arise. You may now save this file and close the editor window. Now just double click the bat file to mine Raptorium. Happy mining. If you have run into any issues, please watch on. Otherwise, you are done and you may click off this video. If you encounter the following error on screen, make sure you have any relevant network device protections turned off. ASIS AI protection is notorious for this. To turn off these protections, log into your ASIS router interface. Then, on the side menu, go to AI protection, network protection, and untick enabled AI protection.
If you get this error, make sure that you have an active internet connection and that no firewall is blocking the site from being reached.